Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Upside Down Data. There is blood in the streets. Bitcoin is down below 31K. It's followed the NASDAQ down. The NASDAQ is down 4% today. And this is a move that's showing itself across markets. But crypto being the most volatile asset class has been taking an especially strong beating. What's especially significant about where the price of Bitcoin and the crypto market sits right now is that it's sitting on top of what really is its final support level before a substantial gap in support, which means that this level between about 29 and 31K has to hold, or if not, there could be a much more significant dip in the cards. So we're gonna look at a couple of indicators that tell us what levels are important beyond that 29 to 31K, try to get a sense of what to expect depending on how price reacts as it is now consolidating a little bit at this support level. So if you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, um, it really helps with the algorithm, helps us to reach more people if you do give the video a like. So that would be awesome if you could do that for us. And check us out on Twitter too. We put out regular updates there about our risk indicators and more. So the first thing that I wanna do is acknowledge that this upward sloping price channel that I have been watching for months now has been invalidated. This is the weekly chart for Bitcoin. And we can see that for the first time since entering this channel in January of 2021, the price closed a weekly candle below that level. And that confirmation has been followed on the first day of this new week with another substantial move to the downside. So I'm just gonna go ahead here acknowledge that this hypothesis has been invalidated and we're gonna wipe it from the books. What we're now looking at here is the possibility of um, a horizontal support coming into play. So, you know, we can draw a couple of levels here to consider, you know, maybe one we'll put right about there at about, you know, 31.8K. We can also draw one a little bit down toward the bottom of these wicks here. These are not precise, obviously, but they're just intended to give us you know, some, some kind of bookends on this range that's now been entered here. So we'll put this one at about 29.4K. These are basically corresponding to the bottom of the candles back from January and then the summer of 2021, and then the bottom of the wicks. This is roughly the range that we're looking at here. And, you know, the way that the price of Bitcoin reacts at this level is going to make all the difference in the world. So as I noted, if we do see continuation to the downside here beyond these wicks, essentially, if this market structure breaks and a new lower low gets put in lower than the June 2021 low, then we are in what folks like to call a goblin town. Because if you look over here on the right, this is the VPVR, these bars that are protruding from the right. I'm going to get my face out of the way here to make sure that you can see this clearly. These bars over here on the right are the volume profile visible range. This basically tells you for every given level and for every given range of price levels, how much volume has been traded there. I've left a, a wide range for you to see here all the way down to the 10K range and, and below. Um, I'll get the, these volume bars out of the way so you can see that a little bit more clearly. But What's quite obvious is that there was a massive amount of volume traded up until about 12K, right where this, you know, this first breakout happened back in July and August of 2020 before a retest of the 10K level before the major run up to 65K. Um, there was a massive amount of volume traded down at these levels because the price spent years, you know, bouncing between these levels and, you know, the lower bounds of this range all the way down to 3K during the COVID capitulation, but more, you know, over a more extended period of time down to about 7K. So this 7 to 12K region has seen a lot of volume historically. Nothing above that has, uh, has put in anywhere near uh, really even a fraction of the amount of trading that we saw at those lower levels. It, it uh, increases a bit right at about 30K where we're sitting right now, because over the past year and a half almost, price has been moving through this range from about 30K to about 65 or 70K. And that's given uh, you know, an opportunity for some volume to build up. Some people established positions there 
there was some buying and selling. There's been some activity up here, but the price shot through this, you know, 12K to 30K range so quickly back in late 2020, that there really was not very much time for volume to accumulate there. Not many people and not many coins have a history between 12K and 30K. And what that means is that it's just not that important a level for most people. We've talked in other videos about the importance of cost basis psychologically. Volatility becomes more psychologically impactful the closer that volatility is to the cost basis of the asset that you're holding. Let's put that a little bit differently. If you buy a 10K, then the move from 10K to 11K or from 10K to 9K is going to be uh, more intense for you, you're going to feel that more and you're going to pay more attention to it than you would the move between 15 and 16K or between 5 and 4K. As the price moves away in either direction from your cost basis, the, the returns on that diminish, meaning that the effect that it has on you diminishes. There just aren't that many people who are going to be reacting as the price moves down below 29K. There are a lot of people for whom this current level is important. But if we break down below 29K, there's really uh, the potential for a free fall there. There's very little reason for people to transact in those regions. There are likely to be relatively few people with orders set there. And there are likely to be relatively few people who are monitoring the price there and waiting to step in. What it would take in order for a free fall down below 29K, let's say to 25K or toward even 20K, well, what it would take to break that free fall would be new buyers coming in and deciding that the discount was significant enough that they were gonna to try to catch the falling knife. Barring that, there's the potential here for a, a really significant drop. You know, this is, uh, this is capitulation territory. We've been talking for months across the crypto space about the potential for a capitulation for even high conviction holders potentially to start to waver and to unload some of their coins. We're approaching that possibility. There's no guarantee that it has to happen. For now, price is still holding this support level, still sitting above 31K. So it's on top of this final support. But if it loses this support and cuts through 31, 30 and 29K and then starts closing weekly candles below that, there's the potential for a much more substantial drawdown. It doesn't mean that it has to go down to 12K. I would be quite surprised if it went all the way down to 12K. I think that a lot of people would step in as buyers. You know, that, that is what would happen um, well before that level. 25K is an important psychological level, even if it's not a very important historical trading level. And that's certainly true of 20K. 20K is the previous all-time high before 2020. So that would be, uh, you know, uh, maybe the, it, it would be surprising to see price go below 20K, um, you, but you never know. Um, and we're approaching that time when we have to take seriously the possibility that we could, but we could explore some of these levels in the 20Ks, maybe in the mid 20Ks. So this is the VPVR. It makes it clear that there's just not that much going on in the 20K region. You know, we can zoom in a little bit more to try to just get a little bit more granularity here about, uh, you know, what's going on uh, in these upper levels where we still are sitting right now. You know, and you can see some nuance here. If we zoom in, um, the point of control is where within a given range, the most volume has been transacted. And that's at about 38K. We've already lost that level. So we're below the point of control which is a bearish signal to begin with. But we are still sitting on top of some degree of support. Now, what I'm showing you here with the VPVR is confluent with another indicator that we can look at and that I'm gonna pull up next. And that is the realized price distribution. So here I am over here on Chain Exposed. And this is a very information rich chart. This tells you a few things. It tells you um, the amount of supply that has a cost basis at any given level. So that's what these bars are telling you. Um, the number of coins that were bought at each of these levels. And there's also color coding to tell you how long ago 
these were bought. So the redder numbers are more recent, and then the yellower numbers are more distant, and then the green numbers into the purple are the oldest coins. And that coincides obviously with price because the price has been going up over time. So in order to find coins that were bought more than eight years ago, got to go all the way back down to these very, very low prices where we all wish we would have bought some Bitcoin, but most of us didn't. So um, where we are now is a region that has not been among the most active in terms of cost basis. There have not been that many coins bought up here. There were uh, a reasonable number bought in the mid thirties. The last big spike was 34.5 K ish. And you can see that many of these coins that were acquired at about 34 to 35 K are in the red. That means that they're brand new coins. They were just bought within the last week. And that's also true to some extent, even if you go all the way up to about 40 K, there are a significant number of buyers at these levels who are now in loss. If we lose that 29 K level, we can see that the next sub substantial um, cost basis is at about 27 to 28 K. Although that's, you know, a relatively minimal concentration of coins relative to some of these higher levels and some of these lower levels, but it, it is the most significant thing that we can see there. And beyond that, there's really nothing until 20 K pretty much nothing. I mean, these are uh, this, this 24 to 25 K um, collection of coins here is, is just quite small and that hardly represents a dent in the market. So this is again, showing us something uh, similar in a different way as compared to the VPVR. Both of these are telling us that between 20 and 29K, there's just not much going on. There hasn't been very much historical price action there. There hasn't been very much volume traded there. And as a result, not that many people are holding coins that they bought in those regions. So this 29 to 31K zone is really, really critical to watch. This is going to be the pivot point for the next period of time. If we lose it, then you know, hold on tight because there could be a ways further down to go. If we hold it, then this is a plausible point to consolidate above support. We don't know what's gonna happen. All we can do is identify these levels and try to articulate if then scenarios. And the if here is, if we lose that 29 to 31K, then it's likely that there's lower to go. So just wanted to show you guys this VPVR and the realized price distribution, give you a sense of what some important support levels are below the current one that we're at. I hope you guys found this useful. Thanks for watching.